Uh, I was looking for Lulu. I haven't seen her. Uh, yeah, I uh, tried her cell, but she's not answering, and uh, I thought she might have been. Obviously, she's not. Sorry to interrupt. No, I don't tell you. don't have to come. It's good to see you up and around. Yeah. Listen, since you're here, why don't we talk about your uh, startup at the PCPD? If you gentlemen will excuse me, I'm going to pass on the bonding of the boys in blue. I've got a bunch of cigars in my office waiting to get smoked. I wouldn't worry about him. I think he sort of approves of you on some level, as much as he can under the circumstances. You know, while we're on the topic of fathers, how are you going to feel about working with Sonny Corintos' son? If you could have this turn out any way you wanted, all transgressions forgiven, all wounds magically healed, what would that look like? Not that it has a prayer of happening. No, but it helps to know what you really want, deep down in your heart of hearts. My heart of hearts? What I want is the ideal of a family, a mommy and daddy and kids under one roof functioning as a healthy unit. I actually had that with Lucky. And I made him believe in it too until, you know, I was with Nicholas and I took it all away. He wants to marry me. Nicholas? He wants to be a real hands-on dad if this baby is his. It's not unreasonable, right? Except I can't do it. Just another way I'm gonna hurt him. Elizabeth, one of the reasons you had this breakdown is because you were so worried about everyone else. You didn't take care of yourself. Now it's time to take care of you. What I need is to be alone. That sounds good. <laughs> Except for one thing, pattern, habit, or destiny. I have loved and depended on Lucky for so long, I don't know how to stop. I just collected Nicholas Cassadine's DNA sample, and I... Um, oh, okay, I'll take this from you, and I'll make sure it gets to the lab for you. Oh, perfect, thank you. Sure. All right. Hey, is that the sample for Elizabeth Weber's paternity test? Oh, well, yeah, I was about to call you. They sent me up for it. Oh, okay, well, here you go. If you have reservations, if you think my loyalties are compromised because of Sonny being my father. Now, I've had some experience with a dad who operates on the opposite side of the law. I think it all comes down to what you believe in, which way your moral compass leads. I think you walk with integrity, so I'm not worried. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, go for it. In the past, say, if you've been on an investigation and everything leads you straight to Luke, what have you done? Cite conflict of interest and take myself off the case. Is that what you're planning on doing? Mm, no, not a chance. I want Sonny and his whole organization off the playing field for good, just like I did before. Detective Spencer, what's the address? No, I can take it. I don't need backup. I got it. It's a possible break-in. Hey, you know, be careful with that no backup thing. Last time I tried that, I ended up with a bullet in my chest. Nicholas, this is Mr. Fleming, the notary that will witness the signature on the document you requested. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, pleasure, Mr. Castanine. Uh, thank you. Can we go ahead and just get this done? Yes, in, in one minute. Can I have a, a word with sure. Nicholas? Thank you. I'm compelled as your attorney to advise you one more time that this action is premature. There's no need to create a trust for a baby that you don't even know is yours. Well, I have a good feeling that it is mine. And now that Elaine is sniffing around, I, I want trust set up for Spencer and Elizabeth's child before Elena manipulates us all into a knot. Hi. Did you run into 
you any problems with Nicholas? No, it's my son. The lab already picked up his DNA samples. Good. I already sent Lucky Spencer's sample down. Elizabeth wants to know the paternity of your child as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, here she comes now. You ready for me? I put you in exam room three. Okay, well, I'll wait for you and take you back. Thank you. Shall we go? I met one of the prospective fathers, Nicholas Cassidy. Seems like a nice guy. He is. Well, Nicholas says that he loves Elizabeth and he wants the kid, so maybe this could turn out to be, you know, happily ever after. I don't think it'll be as simple as all that. Silent, staring.